All right, guys, I think we come to an end of race, the race of the best AI solution out there that we're playing between the big boys and the underdogs. And you can see now that the underdogs has no chance whatsoever. And to explain why, we're going to have to go back to the screen here. So come with me. This is the AI review. Let's get into it. So I don't need to do this announcement. Everyone knows the Twitter. If you on Twitter, you're going to see 200,000 ways you can interact with ChatGPT for all. You see like this everywhere. And uh, the presentation was pretty damn good. I think the capability that they show with GPT-40, it's finally something very well mature. And I think no one was doubting on that. I mean, even though we were bashing on ChatGPT all the time. But still is ChatGPT-4. It's not perfect and we're going to have these oopsies. And uh, and you have to take this this uh demos with grain of salt but take this all these warnings out of the way let's see their their demo how about you i see you're rocking an open ai hoodie nice choice what's up with that ceiling though are you in a cool industry style office or something well can you take a guess at what i might be doing based on what i'm showing you here From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup with those lights, tripods, and... Yeah, I know, I know the cringy AI girlfriend, you know, it, it looks like your AI girlfriend there. But, you know, impressive, really impressive. But then Google as well have the uh, Google I.O. this week. They make the good demonstration of the AI capability as well. was captured in a sync of the code due. This code defines encryption and decryption functions. It seems to use AESCBC encryption to encode and decode data based on a key and an initialization vector, IV. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. Yeah, it, it's impressive as well, less impressive than OpenAI because the the conversation of the model is a bit a little, is a little bit more impressive so they have a little bit more fine-tuning work there to make the conversation a little bit more pleasant but it's the same capability you know it's the same capabilities just the way that they're outputting it it seems like openai has more bugs <laughs> applied into it to make it better but you see now how the llms they're being applied using Google uses Gemini, OpenAI uses GPT-4.0. And let's see then the examples of the underdogs that we have today. So for example, the R1. Sabotaging humanity's incoming information streams. The, the what does engaging. this say? Taking a look now, the image shows a label or tag that says. Once the information uh, departs from the rabbit R1, and go to their own LLM and return, you see that actually it's pretty fast. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It actually, it's a good, a good timing and everything. But there is a subtlety there that is a, a small, small seconds there that differentiate the way that the R1 solution are uh, and then OpenAI Google I.O. is because it's missing a lot of things. It's missing money to apply infrastructure. Is, is is missing refinement because it's not a mature project product it's a very new product and uh i know i i don't have doubt if this was for example apple they would have a better solution nowadays and let's see what's going to happen with, when apple have come with the wwc but then let's see the even was example of human AI. look and tell me what this is Or I'll just do this, I guess. Ah. It's a cyber truck. The photo is of a cyber truck, an electric pickup oh. truck. Okay, we see enough. So what is the point that I getting here and what I wanted to make you guys understand? So R1 and human AI, they were released basically a month ago. Or even less than that. Uh human a little bit more than R1. And they've been on the market just a couple of months. And now you have the big boys coming in and they're presenting a way 
better capabilities of their own LLMs and showing impressive results with their demos, of course, but showing that how they can be better than these underdogs. And what I wanted to, to get in to you here now is to is that B2C companies, AI companies, that just burritos, that just AI wrappers, where they use open AI infrastructure or cloud infrastructure, or mis mis infrastructure to wrap their own, their, their others LLMs to make this LLM the core of their solution and call themselves AI. These companies, they're going to be dead as soon as they, as soon as their product starts to grow and they start to get traction and attention on the market. And this is going to happen pretty soon because we saw, we saw this on this channel two months ago. Devin, they launched a software engineer, the AI software engineer for GitHub that uses OpenAI infrastructure because they both are uh, supported. Well, GitHub belongs to Microsoft and OpenAI is basically supported by Microsoft. They just use the infrastructure to make the same thing that Devin was supposed to do in a better fashion and a better UI in a better way. Of course, both of them, as we don't know yet, we have to yet to see what is the real capabilities of the copilot. But then you see now what's going on. You see now that when you use other companies, uh, other companies' solutions as your core part, the core part of your product, you are part of the product <laughs> as well. So you are actually their testing ground where they, they're going to allow you to go there testing solutions to see what the consumers want and then they're going to gather this this as information and they're going to have way more capabilities to do a better job than you because they're going to have more money they're going to have more money to hire more engineers to invest more in infrastructure to uh, to really have the time to refine they do the fine tuning uh, specific things that going to make their product looks way better than yours way more premium and with the same price or if not cheap or free so that's what's going on right now and i feel like that if you're building an ai company right now you gotta have the core on your product you gotta have the llm for you you gotta have to use in a specific way that you can do it that these companies they do not have the capabilities yet because they you have because they the AI companies as well, they're going to be able to, to do this as well if they're not going to buy you as well <laughs> at the end. But you have to do something that the core is does not belong to their own solution. It's not their, their LLMs is a different LLM trained a different way. They have way different ways to be fine tuned and to present results that are actually better than the results of these companies. And if you, that's, that's, you need to be aware of, and that's what I have for today. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think it's over for everyone? Do you think that we're not going to have any competition anymore? That this company is going to be killing any competition along the way, every time there is a new trending coming on the AI world. So yeah, leave the comments down below. What do you think? And, uh, leave a like, subscribe and share if you like, and this is your PR review.